Ah, greetings, expats. Welcome to the underground. This is the American Expat. And today, I've been looking all over the internet, and I've noticed that there's a lot of arguments about whether you should upgrade your camera or whatever. I feel like we've kind of talked about this. But uh, still, the argument persists. Is the APS-C C, APS crop sensor good enough like this one? Or should you be recording on a full-frame camera like this one? And we'll also test the cinematic qualities of the iPhone in comparison to both of these to see where you should be. By the way, did you notice the change? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? I bet I got you guys. Did you notice, huh, that I switched to the APC, APS-C camera? You're, that's right, I'm, I'm now talking to you guys on a crop sensor. Ha! We'll see if you guys have noticed. Anyway, today I drove out to Babcock State Park in West Virginia to take a look and test the abilities. It's actually the second time that I went out there. I went out there over the weekend, and unfortunately I forgot to bring the memory card for the, the, the crop camera that I'm recording on right now. And uh, then in my desperation, I dug around in the bag and found a memory card, but the camera didn't like it. It wouldn't read it. So I thought, maybe I will, you know, format that card, and then, you know, I would be able to use it. But unfortunately, the menus on my camera, the A6500 that I'm recording on right now, well, they're in Japanese because I bought it in Japan. It's a domestic model. And there is no option for English or anything else except for Japanese. And it's been a long time, and I have forgotten how to navigate those menus. So, yeah. Now, I could have, this whole time, I could have had this video done. Why didn't you guys tell me? I could have just taken the memory card, stuck it into this, this full-frame camera of mine, the a7 IV, and I could have formatted the card in that one so that it would work on the a6500 and this video. Would, why? Come on, guys. You should have told me. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and get started on this whole thing. Huh. Well, let's uh, let's see. I can already see something that I, I really appreciate about the newer camera. Now. There are plenty of new, you know, APS-C cameras that are newer than mine that uh, don't have this problem other than the, you know, the Japanese menus that I mentioned. But this little screen, <laughs> that's about the extent of what it does. Now, on this full-frame camera, the a7 IV that I'm recording on now, the screen can flip out so that I have a, a sort of a monitor. I'm also connected wirelessly to my phone so that I can adjust all the settings on the fly without having to get up and go over to the camera, which isn't all that close to me. So, yeah, but anyway, let's take a look side by side or something like that. I guess kind of side by side of some different uh, clips, I guess, if you will, from Babcock State Park. You'll probably recognize the place. I've certainly had plenty of people recognize it online when I posted photos. Yeah, one time I went to go take some photos in the fall and I posted on there and some guy started accusing me, saying, you know, these these photos you stole them i've seen this picture before on you know a puzzle that i put together and i'm thinking like <laughs> no kidding it's a famous thing it doesn't mean that you know like they're the only ones that have photos of it is on the puzzle but and it would just it, yeah this is a, an amazing place you may recognize it uh probably not but maybe maybe and it, you know beautiful well let, 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 let's uh yeah no, no more of this rambling. Let's get into this and take a look at some of these these clips side by side and see if you can tell the difference.
Can you see a major difference between the crop sensor and the uh, the, the full frame A7 IV? Maybe, maybe you can. I don't know. The the uh, <clears throat> the, the crop camera, the A6500, had some prime lenses on it. A uh, 16 millimeter Sigma lens with, the, I think, a full stop f1.4 and uh, a 50 millimeter Sony lens, full stop uh, 1.8 on it. Um, which, yeah, they take pretty sharp images. I don't know about the colors, but I will correct those, you know, after the fact anyway, so you've seen what they look like. And you tell me, can you see a major difference between the two? And keep in mind, this A6500 is quite old at this point. Um, the, even my, you know, Sony Alpha 7 IV full-frame camera with uh, Tamron... What does it go to? I think it's 28 to 75. I'm probably getting that wrong. Anyway, uh, the, the zoom lens on it, full stop 2.8. Does it? Do, do you notice a difference? Is there some? Uh, there should be a difference in the colors, I would think, because uh, the the full frame camera has 10 bit color, and the old one is 8 bit. So well, you probably notice a difference. But uh, you tell me, is it worth the upgrade if, let's say, you're just getting started on YouTube or something, you're making videos? Is it really worth it to spend the $3,000 or whatever it is by the... Well, actually, how much is the A7 IV now? Uh, probably somewhere close to $3,000, especially by the time you get a lens. Because let's face it, the kit lens that comes with it, well, why don't you just dip it in mud? As far as... <laughs> no, no, don't go dipping it in mud. It's still worth about 200 bucks. But uh, the image quality, I mean, I guess, you know, it's a full frame lens. It works if uh, if need be, you have that option. But um, yeah, oh, there is a positive about it. By the way, if you do switch and you have a Sony and you currently have the crop camera, the APS-C, well, guess what? Your lenses will still work on the a7 IV. I know it's a bit of a gimmick, but it's sometimes handy as a stopgap, you know. Maybe you've got a wide lens like the 16 millimeter that I've got here for the crop sensor. You can just put it on there and it switches to crop mode and it works with it. And it'll still be 10-bit color and all of that. So, yeah, that, that's a, a positive. But what do you think? Is it worth the upgrade? Now, now let's take a look at this... Uh, the cinematic qualities of the iPhone because you know it gets a lot of hype there's always these videos about you know this was recorded on the iPhone let's see what it can do I like to think that I'm something of a skeptic I've always had my doubts about magic like Santa Claus and the low birth theory but then I found that place where genuine magic exists. In that 10-year-old smartphone. And it's never been the same since. I don't know about you. I'm feeling the magic of the iPhone. Yeah, I would say, you know, if you've just got a cell phone, an old smartphone, and keep in mind, I mean, you know, all jokes aside, this is like a 10-year-old iPhone. And the image, I mean, yeah, it's not that great. I was only able to produce those in 1080p, so it probably looked like garbage on this. But um, you could do it. You could get by with that. It can record 4K. It's not going to be able to have the slow motion because you you know can only do 1080p at 60 frames per second but um just the same you you could get by you don't need to wait to upgrade now you can see what the other cameras can do if you get into that area that uh, range of having the more advanced cameras the more standalone cameras but uh, you can put some pretty good stuff together with just a smartphone if you know what you're doing 
And I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Somebody else probably could have made it even more cinematic, you know, like the commercial. Like this was, this could be a Hollywood film. It's so good. But, um, well, I'm just kind of lacking in that, uh, that skill level to be able to do that. But I did the best that I could. And I stand by my work. The iPhone 7 pulled through and it brought the magic. Anyway, yeah, tell me what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Because, again, I make videos um, such as they are. They, they will get better, I promise. We're learning together here. And, uh, yeah, hit the, uh, the, the thumbs up button thing that lives down below this video. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can also do the thumbs down if you prefer. But please, please don't do that if, if you can at all avoid it. I'll see you guys later. ไปพวงลงเฝ้าสาวเจ้าบางประคงหางไว้งงลงเก้อเออหาโอเวนคำจำรักจาก